Hi, my name is Kimberly Fox. Um, I picked up a pair of these adjustable kettlebells from Kettlebell Kings. I was not really sure how they were gonna work out because most of the adjustable weights that I've ever had to deal with are crap. Um, but I was pleasantly surprised by these. So basically, you have two kettlebells here. Um, they range about, they're about $200 for one, so $400 for a set. One set of adjustable kettlebells will replace uh, 12 kilogram weights up to 32. So they can be loaded up to 32 pounds and down to 12 kilograms. Obviously for a gym setting, um, having to adjust the weights isn't super efficient, um, especially if you're doing ladder sets or interval times. Um, but for home purposes, or if you travel a lot, they'll be amazing. Um, so the biggest thing is that uh, it took me about, when I was doing my sets, uh, it took me about two minutes to change out uh, both sets of bells to drop it from uh, 20 kilo or 18 kilogram down to 12 kilogram during a set. What time did it start at? From right there, we had like two minutes Which honestly isn't terrible um, <laughs> considering uh, the way that they're designed. So the biggest thing about them is that they are evenly weighted. So I really did not notice a difference between swinging the adjustable bell versus swinging just your traditional style kettlebell. <laughs> As far as price goes, I mean, you really can't get much better than that. 400 bucks for a set of bells, all the way up to 32 kilograms, 12 to 32, versus like $1,600 for all those weights that you would have at home. Um, and I don't know about you, but I don't really have enough room in my home to have that many sets of bells, nor do I really want to spend $1,600 when I travel um, to have all the bells with me that I need. So I'm in the military and I do a lot of field training, <clears throat> so normally I have to take like two or three sets of bells with me out to the field if I want to keep training uh, during that time period. So it's a huge hassle to take like a set of 24s, a set of 18s, and a set of 16s out. So I mean it's a lot of weight to move from place to place and it's just a big hassle. Um, uh, just like most kettlebell uh, king's bells, there is a, a layer of um, clear lacquer over the handles when you first get them. So you'll want to sand the handles down really good uh, prior to trying to chalk them. So I did that with these, and they took chalk pretty well. I've swung these handle or these bells this week about 430 times. I've had them set. <coughs> at 12 kilograms for like 100 reps. Um, this is all for long cycle reps. 14 kilogram for like 58 reps, um, all the way up to 28 kilogram. Uh, 
the main thing that I noticed on some of the time, and it only happened to me once or twice, and it might have been user error rather than the bell's problem, is that when I was swinging, the interlocking bolt had loosened up, which I didn't even know until I was done swinging. Like I didn't notice a difference in the swing because it only loosened up from just a finger tightness. So I just got done swinging the 28s. I did it uh, like 86 reps. So, and I never stopped to tighten any of this stuff up. So you can see after 86 reps, like it's still tight. Uh, the one time that it had loosened up probably was just that I didn't tighten it enough. But I talked to Kettlebell Kings about this when it did happen the first time and they are adjusting all of their other bells and replacing out these lug nuts with locking ones. So I think that problem won't be an issue anymore. And like I said, it only happened once or twice. It's still tight. I can loosen it there. But. So they're pretty easy to switch out. Just take the bell off and then you'll slide off each set of plates. The, there's really not a lot of cons with this bell um, other than having to change out the weights, which can be a hassle. So for a gym setting, not so good, um, but for a home or a travel setting, it'd be perfect. They do have the original style 33 millimeter handles rather than 35, but that did, wasn't really a problem for me since I mostly only have 35 or 33 millimeter handles on all my other bells and I compete with a 35 millimeter bell and it really doesn't ever affect me as far as my numbers, I don't think. Um, so I don't really care about that. <clears throat> for a home purpose, I think this worked out perfect.